Hi guys, welcome to our uh, Kickstarter funding video. Um, we really want your help to uh, expand a study that we started last year that looked at the relationship between red and grey squirrels and pine marten. Now I'm sure you all know what red and grey squirrels are, but some of you might not know what a pine marten is. Pine marten is a, it's a mustelid, it's related to badgers and otters and animals like that, but it also, also lives up in the trees. Um, it started to make a comeback in Ireland and Scotland um, and work last year seemed to suggest that there might be a link between pine marten uh, and the recovery of red squirrels. So we'd like to follow on from that work um, and continue on a behavioural study that will look at how uh, red and grey squirrels respond to the behaviour of the scent of pine marten. So to do that we'll be visiting uh, a lot of sites and sticking up one of these which is bog standard squirrel feeder. Opposite that we'll be sticking up a little camera trap like this um, and basically we'll be recording squirrel activity at the, the feeder. Um, once we've recorded activity for a little while we will get some pine marten juice which is um, pine marten poo in water and then we will scoosh that pine marten juice all over the feeder and then record this, the squirrel's behaviour after we've done that to see if they respond to the scent of pine marten. So um, yeah, we're basically interested to see whether uh, the, the scent of a pine marten will reduce the amount of red or grey squirrel activity on the feeder. Now that information will be really useful um, as, it, as the pine marten may have a role to play in the conservation of the red squirrel in Britain and Ireland. Um, I won't be undertaking this project myself. Uh, I'm going to be helped by a research assistant called Lily Price and she's going to tell you a little bit more about herself and about the project. Hi, I'm, I'm Lily. Um, I've recently completed a Masters in Animal Behaviour um, focusing mainly on African primates and auditory communication. So I thought now that it's completed it's time to look at our native species here in Ireland and Britain. So that kind of brings me to this lab in Queen's here, um, where I'm working on the Squirrel Predator Prey Project. So I started last year, sort of end of November, looking at all the camera footage and watching endless and endless videos of grey and red squirrels and um, got the data together and we had some promising results. So now I'm here to expand all the sites we have over in Northern Ireland and I'm starting at the moment, setting up these feeders here with cameras and then once that's all collected, I will start again to watch endless uh, video footage of squirrels and see if the results are still the same. So yeah, I'm really excited about this project and not only will this help kickstart my career, but this is also really important um, for the conservation of the red squirrel. So check out our page, we have more information there and incentives on the side. And feel free to email us with any questions and feel free to donate. Thanks for watching.